Becoming a mother is a special moment, one many women look forward to. However, conceiving a child is not always the easiest. For some, they seek help from a fertility doctor. One they trust. But what happens when that trust is violated? It's a story that made headlines in Indianapolis, across the country, and now has ties to the Wabash Valley. News 10's Aaliyah Blackburn joins us with this very interesting story. Aaliyah? Patrice Rondrell, it's a bizarre story. Imagine finding out your fertility doctor fathered your baby and you didn't even know it. That's what one Wabash Valley woman says happened to her when she had her daughter. It's a story you have to hear for yourself to believe, and that's why they reached out to us to tell us theirs. Deborah Pierce knew she wanted to be a mother. I won my own child. That, that's just bottom line. She sought out a fertility doctor in Indianapolis, and through artificial insemination, she became pregnant. I love my daughter. I, I, there's nothing I wouldn't do for. I decided that I wanted to take a DNA test. I had been told that I was from donor sperm. That sperm, her daughter Jacoba says, was supposed to come from a medical resident, only to be used for no more than three successful pregnancies. At least, that's what the doctor said. When I took that DNA test, I found seven siblings. So, um, right then, we all kind of questioned what was wrong. Further investigation through ancestry and DNA test led them face to face with Dr. Donald Klein, her mother's fertility doctor, and based on the test results, her biological father. He was very cold, distant, um, really factual, um, and he brought a lot of Bible verses trying to back up what he did. Jacoba says Klein admitted to using his own sperm to impregnate his patients at least 50 times. She says her mother had no idea. I couldn't believe that actually. Um, I didn't really know until the prosecutor's DNA report came out, and it was 99.9%. .9%. And, um, well, you, you feel like he deceived you. You were lied to. While Deborah has since forgiven, for Jacoba, it's a daily battle. And as more siblings come out, she says others have turned away. That hurts. Um, and I hope that one day that they see the bigger picture that... Um, I never thought a year ago my face was going to be out in public. I didn't think my name was going to be in the public. Um, but if I can save another family from this heartache, then so be it. Whatever it takes to shed light on her fight for justice. I feel like, like that's, this is my calling, to be an advocate for people. And so I mean, I'm going to take it and roll with it and try to help others. Jacoba says Klein was only charged with obstruction of justice. In the meantime, she says she's pushing for more laws in Indiana so that this won't happen to someone else.